Today I'm flying the Citation XL, which is uh, not part of the 500 series. It's actually the basically the generation of Citations that came after the 500 series. It's a little bit larger, um, has a stand-up cabin, it's a real nice feature. And uh, one of the biggest advantages to the Excel is that it has an APU, an auxiliary power unit. And uh, I thought it, it would be uh, interesting to show how this unit starts up and what it does for the uh, aircraft. The APU is essentially a small jet engine built into the tail of the airplane. And uh, just like if you had an engine running, it is able to provide electrical power via a generator. And uh, it also can provide bleed air for heating and cooling the cabin, heating the cabin up when it's cold in the winter and cooling it down in the summer. So um, now I'll show you how to do the uh, APU start sequence. Step one is to turn the main ship battery on. That's the DC power to the entire aircraft. We'll turn that on. Next, in order to signal that we're gonna be running the APU on the ground, we're gonna turn the nav lights on. Next, we're gonna turn the APU master on. You can see that panel lights up, comes to life. And uh, next we're going to press the test button and hold that in order to run, have the uh, circuitry run through all of its self-tests. When we push and hold the test button, we see both the enunciators at the top, the bleed air valve open and the ready to load enunciator illuminates. Uh, we'll see uh, an APU RPM of 50 percent, that's a percentage, and uh, we'll see an APU exhaust gas temperature of 500 degrees and a vol voltage of zero. Those are all normal indications when we're holding the test button. We also need to come up here to the uh, co-pilot side of the instrument panel and see the APU relay engaged and APU fail enunciators illuminated and the APU fire switch light. Uh, illuminated. That proves that that circuitry is working and if the APU were to have a problem we'd be able to see that through the enunciators. Starting the APU is super simple. Everything is automatic. We take the switch here and lift it into the APU start position and let it go. And uh, as the engine spins up and lights off everything happens automatically. Uh, the system has a lot of monitoring equipment that uh, pretty much if it detects a fault of any kind it will shut itself down if it detects a fire of some sort uh, it will let us know about that and uh, and we can either manually blow the fire bottle or it will automatically blow a fire bottle after eight seconds um, so it's a, a very automated system notice once the APU has spun up to hundred percent the ready to load light comes on. That means that the generator is ready to be loaded, uh, ready to be used. So I'm gonna show you both the, uh, the DC amps gauge, that's for the uh, APU, at the same time that I flip the generator on switch. When I flip that on, you can see that the DC amps gauge is indicating that the generator is uh, putting power out and what that allows us to do is turn on the avionics and uh, get everything booted up and ready for flight as far as the avionics are concerned. Now I've had the APU running for two minutes. There's a two minute limitation on the APU that says we need to wait for at least two minutes um, before turning the bleed air on. And what that does is it basically allows the APU to not work as hard for a couple minutes. Uh, it lets the, uh, the starter cool down and uh, then uh, after two minutes, we can open the bleed air valve using this switch here on the upper left part of the panel. When I turn that on, what that's gonna do is it's gonna start uh, drawing bleed air uh, off of the APU and sending it into the cabin to uh, uh, warm the cabin in the winter or cool it off in the summer. And uh, that way uh, you don't have to worry about hooking up a power card and running in, uh, free on air conditioning things like that that you'd normally do with a light jet, uh, we don't have to worry about because the APU provides that bleed air. There the bleed air valve comes open. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the, uh, or hear the bleed air coming through the vents in the cabin, but I can definitely feel that there's cool air coming in. 
and uh, notice that the EGT rose up, that's an indication that uh, bleed air is being drawn off of the APU and the APU is uh, running at a higher load basically. And that's how you run an APU on a Citation Excel.